ready for another episode of Incredible Tiny Homes. Today we're talking about our custom homes and the custom builds and where we've come from the beginning to the end. And as you can see, this is another product of our Incredible Tiny Homes custom builds. Let's get at it. Oh, ma, we're on. I was gonna say Mando. Too bad. Now, whatever you say, it can't be to just me. You gotta say it to everybody. Everybody. <laughs> hey, where's our YouTube? Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning, everybody. <laughs> All right, look here. Now that's your that's a mom that's your mom that move. YouTube? If you went in and just started talking, she'd say, "Well, good morning." Well, good morning. How are you? <laughs> that's your, that's a Dorothy move right there. Let's see here. Um, incredible. Yeah. I can't believe when I got into business, we got we got into business. Why somebody didn't pick out incredible that, that name, incredible tiny homes? You yeah. Know? Oh look, here it is. We wanted to. I <laughs> do not. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys have to see this video. All right. It's so horrible. The, yes, I picked the music. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> it's terrible music. Oh, yeah. Now, the reason I picked this music, okay, hear me out. Okay, just hear me out. I've never picked this music before, and I got tired of the same old music that we picked, so I couldn't pick something again, the same thing, but... <laughs> Somebody said, call the 90s and get your dubstep back. <laughs> Look at that tarp. But <laughs> we're, so, we're so professional here. Aren't we? The wind was kicking Friday. It was Gosh. like bad. So anyway. Gosh, so there's, you guys want to do a little jamming? There's that horrendous music. So if you watch this video, please just turn the music Isn't down. Cool? I know you hate it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many people. They said, love the house, but I hate that music. <laughs> I do, too. But I just had to use something different. So. Well, my Sorry. microphone did the whole thing to my His micro working. Listen, we did a full tour on this house. Yeah. And I went to put everything together, and it was nothing but static. The whole tour. We did it for And you full. don't know that it's going to stack um, in the middle of a Because this a right show. here shows both of these are good. We just right. tested it. So, anyway, so it happened. So right. maybe we might Let have me. to test that to walk through it again. So, I'm not gonna, right now. This is the workings of going on. We got Tom here, we got David here, we got Seth here, we got the girls working here this morning. Always going. And so, oh, well, let me show. Can I show Dave really quick? Oh my gosh! Look, <laughs> Dave not happy. <laughs> Dave cut all of his hair off. Yes, and he's yeah. like, "Could you just drop it?" Yeah, watch him. It's like, could you just like? No. He said, I don't want any attention drawn to this. I know. And that's all everybody's talked about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he had the most gorgeous ponytail. I know. Did y'all keep it? Yeah, of yeah. course. Lord. Yeah. But it looks good, don't it? Hey, yeah. What are you doing with the so, um, wanted to talk about a few things. I know that we got 10,000 vid views on mm -hmm. that video that you made for three and a half minutes. Three yeah okay mm -hmm. All right. the reason is because that house is so beautiful on the outside and people surfing i think it's the reason no who will know and they see it as gorgeous i want to see what that house okay. looks like right, right? Mm -hmm. sure so a lot of our videos we can't just show homes every single day we don't sure. have enough homes every day we, mm -hmm. we come on here every day so what i wanted to talk to today is a little bit about our transition from uh all 100 percent custom homes mm -hmm. and explaining to you what does it take to do a, a custom home what is that process and any of the criticism that might think or even thinking wow he doesn't do any custom homes I wanted to just clarify a few things I'll build anything mm -hmm. all right we still build hobbits we build everything and I want to you know what there's a couple of people that are being promoted about some other companies or oh, they'll do customs do they really do a custom mm -hmm. I custom majority I don't know anybody out there that says just give me your plan and I'm gonna whip something out mm -hmm. right and everything from window placement to structure size everything is custom nobody does it no. now you'll take some of their foundational uh, models that they have and you can shuffle some uh, floor plans around you can mm -hmm. shuffle some windows around but you're gonna get the premise of that structure 
We've made elevated roof buildings. We've made Hobbit buildings. We've made uh, um, the thatch roof, the Highland. The style. Highland. That's mm -hmm. all custom. Everything. Everything we do is custom, mm -hmm. right? Now we've had it simplified to where we had RJL and Freedom. Mm -hmm. And then you can work within those parameters of a, of a dormers mm -hmm. and we can ship. But that is even still, we'll ship the dormer all the way over. Normally when you got guys that have manufactured guys that are building tiny homes, the dormer's a dormer. Mm -hmm. You can put something else in it if you want. You can move your windows around a little bit and you maybe your shuffle. Hey, we got a design with a kitchen on the left or the right or that. But ours is 100% custom. Right. So to go with that, let me show you a little bit the dynamics that works within that. So Tom asked me this morning, we've got one up, we and we're we got 35 more custom homes. So this is in our Thunderdome. This is our map of what's going on outside, inside. We got Amish, we got everything going, and these are all going to be done probably within the next. We're shooting for five months. Mm -hmm. All of our custom homes are done. We move into our models. Right. So because of that, in Kentucky, we've got. Um, a great big one going up right now and said hey had a question on it right so because I'm doing designs here right mm -hmm. and getting them some so we can send up there next week we're bringing on more builders to accommodate our custom builds right and our models that are coming in and selling so well uh, so I had a question so I had to go in here and I said hey so I dug out the file that I needed to look so the question was, one of these homes that are for sale are built, being built up in the Amish. So I said, all right, I'm going to grab this thing. So let me take you. I'm trying not to show the personal information from the customer. But so we look on here, and this is my design, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know how more, much more custom you can get. So I'm actually designing this and working with the customer saying, hey, let's put this here, that here, and we'll maybe draw mm -hmm. this. I, that's just massive custom, man. Yes. There's not a builder. I don't care from Colorado to California and back to New York. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to sit here and sketch it, give no. it to a carpenter and say, build it. Build it. No. And then send me pictures so I can kind of see if that pitch of that roof is going to be maybe a little bit steeper, maybe a little bit wider. What can we do to make it, give it that feel and that artsy look that I want, you mm -hmm. know? But that's what I've been doing for seven years. Right. And it cannot be productive. Mm -hmm. And you can't find that many men that has that much talent to be able to transfer what I'm thinking in my head to that right. guy. Mm -hmm. And so it's you cannot produce homes that way. And then on top of that, I'm taking a big chance of trying to think that is that homeowner seeing what I'm seeing? Mm -hmm. A lot of most of our homeowners love that I'm able to take what I've got in my head after talking with them and build it. Yeah. And they like it, right? And a lot of them, there's a there's some that if you don't have it exact to the T, mm -hmm. then they get on social media and blow us up like we never did anything right. right. Exactly. Okay? So I'm tired of that. I don't want to do that anymore. Right. And I want to do, I want to eliminate all the questions. I want to eliminate mm -hmm. all the the uh, um, mostly just questions between right. me and the homeowner, me and the builder, right? And trying to get these things done. Of course, inventory and expediting and right. then saving costs by ordering the same thing all over and over and over but that we've got nine models to choose from yeah we have a lot to choose and from. all those Absolutely. models came from you know what it's our style it's my style it's what i came up with that i thought people would need in a home mm -hmm. and i liked the way it was done different than any home in the country there's right. no home built like what we're building mm -hmm. and the amenities and and what i mean by that is how many tiny homes do you know and we've been on the computer this morning looking at a couple competitors Mm -hmm. Do they ever get 120 square feet in a, in a living room? Yeah. With nothing in it but windows and mm -hmm. plugs and switches? Mm -hmm. No, they don't. So so the question came in this morning and said, hey, on this house here, right? Like, the, see these reverse gables here? Mm -hmm. I don't put a distance of how wide that is. Where? Right? Because we're building 20 homes at one time. Yeah. This house is in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. When I was up there talking to them, I said, listen... What I need you to do is I want that, I had to explain to him my concept. I don't want that a wide, flat looking uh, dormer. I want mm -hmm. it narrow and I want it steep and I want it really cottagey. Now that, that all that is just a metaphor. That's not a specific, his cottagey um, description would be different than mine. So I said, you're gonna have to send me a picture, man. You're gonna have to mm -hmm. let me know. And I, then I sent him a picture I say, hey, this is what I'm looking for, right? So if you go back to that video we just showed, 
of the Highland, mm -hmm. or the Mount, the, you know, that Highland there that we did, yeah. that has a steep, really tight looking. Mm -hmm. And he called me back and he said, "I see what you're talking about." Mm -hmm. He said, "But we can only get about a 12 by, we can only get about a 12 by 18 window in that. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not going to open, and that's what these little guys are. But to order these things, they're three and four months out. You can't yeah. get them anymore." The world's different now. Well, and that's another thing. It's not just the customers and the adding on stuff and making it super, super custom. That's a part of it. But where everything has changed in the world and about ordering and about materials, the we have to go to something that we know can be in stock all of the time. Stock, Readily available. Yeah, and the cost. The cost. You know, mm -hmm. and the speed. When we take a long time building your homes, you guys, I always, I've always said this, the customer we want your house built before you want it built. absolutely we want it done faster than you ever ever thought about having mm -hmm. it done because it's it it costs us money mm -hmm. by not getting your homes done right that's why i'm on a full alert getting all these homes out of here mm -hmm. and it just takes time when you have that many homes coming behind you right you know mm -hmm. so i wanted to explain to you all the difference in a custom home mm -hmm. because there's just been some been some I don't know talk back to me about us not doing custom homes all right mm -hmm. and I wanted to explain why we don't do custom homes and the difficulty in mass producing custom homes I've talked to investors over the weekend nobody in the entire industry ever does custom homes mm -hmm. on a mass production nobody no. it's insane no no home builders nobody does it you have mm -hmm. six or eight models, four models mostly. You can choose colors here, back, but it's the same cookie cutter all the time. It's the only way you can make any home money. Right. Now you've got custom builders, he'll build one at a time. Mm -hmm. One at a time. And you can do maybe six or eight of those a year. Yeah. And that's it. Um, now, will we do custom homes? Yes, we will. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be at a higher cost than mm -hmm. our model homes. What they that have higher to be. cost is, I'm not going to tell you because mm -hmm. they're going to be priced individually as they come in. Mm -hmm. I get a I get a uh, print across my desk and it says, "Hey, this is can you build this custom home?" Mm -hmm. And I said, "Let me tell you what it is and I'll do a cost of it mm -hmm. and then we can do it." We have about four or five builders in this building that I can say build this for me. Yes. And they'll be built right here in mm -hmm. Tennessee to where I can see it being built because it's going to probably needed some of my input because I'm designing it with the homeowner to do that. Right. Now, that's going to be really limited mm -hmm. because of the cost is going to be so high and because of the the amount of, of detail that has to go into it, mm -hmm. right? So we'll we're going to and we're going to see if that's even cost effective for mm -hmm. us cuz you so you can see normally we build 8 or 10 homes in this building and I gear down to about 4 at a time. Mm -hmm. You understand that there's not as much income being produced out of that building as it normally would be mm -hmm. if we had eight or ten buildings be going right. on. So that's something to justify. Mm -hmm. Another thing I was thinking about, um, you know, when I started this company, you know, we, we sold for $20,000, right? Mm -hmm. We still have a house for $20,000 and I'm actually living in it. And it, we got this, and, and, and it's true, we cater, our business caters to people that don't have a lot of money in this tiny home industry. Right? We have people that came here and worked in a workshop that built their own tiny home. Mm -hmm. Right? And they're living it across the world, across the United States, in homes that cost a third or less than that of what they could have went out here and bought one for. True. All right? We still sell Because we lost money on the workshop. Always. Yeah. Every house we, we went in the hole. We lost money. Every yeah. single house mm -hmm. we went in the hole. Yeah. Because we made sure that everyone's house was done before it left in seven days. And they were custom. And they were custom, every one of them. So think about that. You think about it, if you really could put in perspective all that I'm telling you this, mm -hmm. and then we did that in a workshop, mm -hmm. on top of that, yeah. for that not to be, I mm -hmm. think, somehow remembered. It was unbelievable. Remember the amount of sacrifice yeah. and time and effort and devotion to people's needs mm -hmm. to get them in a home. Yeah. And that to be forgotten, yeah, 
is just like and the people stayed they stayed there we fed them three times a day breakfast lunch and dinner we fed them they our guys worked over to help them and stuff and, and it we was, paid our guys we paid our guys it never cost the customer no. one extra it was unbelievable it was an unbelievable thing that it just seems like that because everything just goes so fast yeah. it to look back is it was really amazing it was amazing we even lived I can't through believe, it. I can't 18 believe we made it. Of it. I can't and believe we went it. Every, one week out of the month, we were building, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we were had a workshop where people would come in and build their own homes. I know. And it ended up, I bet you 70, 80% of the time, mm -hmm. our men had to build them anyway. Well, and it was people like me. I don't know how to build anything. Yeah. Out of all the years that I've been around building stuff, I'm just not interested. I don't do that stuff, whatever. But it was taking someone like me who didn't even know how to turn something on, and yeah. you were building a house in seven days. Yeah. So I had to, I would have had to have had the guys help me. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Everybody and usually were, everybody was usually disappointed in me or mad by the end of the week. Yeah, but they got their house. Yeah, I was always in an argument with somebody because by Thursday their bodies were hurting. Yeah. And they were they were pissed because they were hurting. And then they were mad because it was a hard environment. They knew they had to pour on another yeah. twenty four hours of work before they had to leave. I think people thought that it was gonna be way easier because some somehow in people's minds, tiny houses equals oh that that's gonna take no time to easy. do. Oh, that's easy. Everyone found out and I always go back to the guys. I love the guys that was the firemen that we're talking they're in great shape and they do stuff all the time. By the end of the week and they had what, five of them? Or six of them they crawled out of here. they cr <laughs> they will tell you they were absolutely worn out yeah and you're using muscles you never use you're they going got, up and down a louder every, a ladder. That, but we did it every month every month for 18 months Constant. <laughs> and i slept in the bunk room yeah. right there in the warehouse yeah and you know to, to think all that went on manda yeah and the sacrifice that we went through to put all that That's out a lot. and we're still selling homes just by that text that guy got us. And I think can, we did two jams during <laughs> with, with the workshop going on, too. I think oh we did God, two we jams. Did it, didn't yeah, we? we did two jams. How in the world we did that? I have no idea. Well, and then on top of that, you end up <laughs> just like the text we got. They got it at a five hour research on all the competition across the yes. United States. Yes. So he said, you know what, Randy? If you add a $20,000 lot, and I'm going to mm -hmm. talk about that, the yeah. $20,000 cost on the house for a lot in the mountain. Mm hmm. We're still 12 to 18 percent under the national average of five different, five or six yes. different tiny home companies. Mm -hmm. Under still. And one of our followers took that upon himself and did that for us. I thought that was very nice, and he shared that on YouTube. Now, so, and, pl and I know you're getting ready to go through it. Explain yeah. the twenty thousand dollars that gets added to the to the model price for the mountain. Well, if you've seen some bulldozing and we've shown you the mountain going on over there mm -hmm. and I'm going to show you another, excuse me, I'm going to show you another uh, view of what's going on. Mm -hmm. Just the infrastructure, just the bulldoze. We've been pushing roads and pushing dirt mm -hmm. for over a year and a half now. Just pushing dirt. I know. We have ran into so many issues with rock. We've had to have a hammer and hammering the roads in. Mm -hmm. We've had to push we went into a holler and i mentioned this before we went into a two mountains that come together it's called a holler so we're putting a road up through that holler mm -hmm. it had 10 feet of topsoil and it was we're talking 80 feet across 10 foot deep mm -hmm. all topsoil wow all that topsoil has to come out where that road part is it has to be hauled out hauled out then good dirt has to be coming in it's got to be packed to build a good road base now i've been with developers and they don't do that They'll just throw some geotech fiber on it and go with it. And then when you guys get in there, what thing is, what they sell the homes and they sell the lots. Mm -hmm. And when they do, the road starts caving in and moving. Well, they're gone. They've done left done. the roads and everything. Mm -hmm. Their job's and now over. you got a road that's caving in. Mm -hmm. Or they'll put trees and stumps under a road and cover it up with dirt. And you guys never know about that. If because over, people don't understand that. You know, you think you can develop something. If you don't know, if Randy did not know this himself, what had to be done, you get hoodooed. You get hoodooed. You get hoodooed. <laughs> so, Yump has got a mountain of trees. Yep. We got a mountain of topsoil. Mm -hmm. I didn't even have that when I was at Brothers Cove, and we developed 170 acres. Right. I didn't have all that. Mm -hmm. Here we do. We never. I've never run into an issue of too much topsoil. Wow. Over there, it wasn't enough topsoil. Jeez. So, 
why is there twenty thousand dollars for a lot? Mm -hmm. Because it's costing that much. Mm -hmm. It's probably costing more than that. Mm -hmm. And so when you when you want a lot in our mountain, mm -hmm. if you want a house and you want a lot in the mountain, you don't buy that lot thinking you're going to live there a year or two. Mm -hmm. You don't get on that lot thinking, hey, I'm just going to be oh, three or four years and I'm gone. That is your home. People are moving here and they're living here and they're staying. All right. Now, there's been some talk about, hey, that $20,000, you go out and buy you an acre and put water power sewer, and you can put a driveway, you can put a fence in, you can put all that in yourself. And you can, if you can do that for under $20,000 and you don't want to be in a gated community next to maybe some neighbors and some people that can look at your house after you're gone or if you're out about and make some friends, more power to you. Mm -hmm. I personally, when I was younger, I bought seven acres, built my own home, and I didn't want to live in a gated community. That's the way I was. That's not for you here. But for here... $20,000 you add to the house. Do you get your $20,000 if you leave in a year? No. That's what it costs to get that house on that lot. Mm -hmm. Don't come here if you're going to leave here in a year. Yeah. Come here because this is your home and you want to stay mm -hmm. and you want to invest in us and you want to invest in the community. Here I, I charge $6,000 a lot. Mm -hmm. Right? Over there it's it's two years, three years later, mm -hmm. two, what, two and a half years later, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. The world is a different place. Way different. And it's a whole different world and two, over there, you bulldozing know, and everything we deal with. Yeah, and you're leasing the lot, and you also get, we threw in the skirting. Yeah. So there's a setup, mm -hmm. in with included in that lot, we'll set your home up, level it, get it on it, um, skirt it mm -hmm. with an insulated skirting. Build a deck on it, build steps on it, and give you a shed. And you get a shed. Yeah. On top of. But just wanted to that. clarify that. So yeah. when you walk in, if you take, so their limb lots are made for our model homes. Mm -hmm. You take a model home yes. that is now got LP siding on the outside, it's almost maintenance free. Yeah. The inside is completely done, it's painted, it's urethane, it's set up. Mm -hmm. This is what you're doing. Now you're moving into a home on the mountain that has skirting, sheds, decks, everything's done yes. before you move in. Right. It's not going to be now. We've gotten all these here. We're building them and throwing them and going over there. It's done. It's set up. It's in. Mm -hmm. All you'd bring in is your furniture. Yep. We've learned a lot. We have. And, and what we've learned is we're not doing customs anymore. And we're able to build these more efficiently. Mm -hmm. We're going to be more, um, not, e not just efficiently, but in an in a, in a organized way of mm -hmm. a step-by-step -step process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? So I wanted to explain to that of how, where we've come from mm -hmm. as a company. Right. And why we have had to change where we're at. These girls in this office, Amanda and I, Tom, to do a custom home, the amount of paperwork, the amount of questions back and forth, back and forth. Just like Tom asking me on that house right there. Hey, Randy, mm -hmm. what are we looking at on the size of those windows? Mm -hmm. What about the steepness of that dormer? You know, where, and I have to stop what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Come out here. We have to come, we have to talk maybe to the customer. We got to talk to the builder. We got to figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. If we can order this or that. And of course, 99% of that has been ordered. But when you come right. to something that custom, you can't pre-do it. Now you can think you can do some of it, what we're what we got going on mm -hmm. of some of the gables and that. But it's just always something inside. We'll go in there and say, hey, this customer has a custom stove. But they neglected to be able to get us our sizes of that mm -hmm. stove. How right. wide is that stove? Is it going to fit between the wall and the cabinet? Does it? I asked Amber this morning on this one stove we're looking at. Hey, Amber, they say I have a custom stove. We don't have any, no info. Is it gas? Is it electric? Mm -hmm. And what size of electric do they have? Can we add it to our panel? Right. And they have a range hood. Are they bringing the range hood or is that our range hood, a microwave? Mm -hmm. We got someone bringing a microwave that's not standard. We got to build a platform because they say, well, now my microwave won't fit on top of my range hood platform mm -hmm. see all that stuff and it slows everything down it does to a yep. stop and you do that times 20 every single day it's too much and the information that's going like this is we're just it's and you know and I did that man I did all these things because I said I want to be different than everybody in the country right and I thought that's the way I'm going to stimulate mm -hmm. our company and differentiate between everybody else is mm -hmm. that we do custom right and I don't know if that's been the right thing to do. Well, I, th I think um, we want to clarify, too. Okay, you have a folder on your desk uh, that is full of custom prints. 
people have sent in and said, hey, can you do a custom home for me? What we're doing is that we're letting the people look at the models to say, hey, wait a second. Maybe I don't need this custom home. Maybe I want what they're offering. I don't think, look at the models and notice that the models that we're offering is possibly and has been proving in this past week more than what you would have designed yourself. They've become yeah. more. People, we're talking people that have got extensive prints that they've done. They said, hey, forget it. I want your model. Yeah. I want the Birmingham. I want. We have sold one of each model except for what the Charleston, I think it was, yeah. mm -hmm. in which we could have sold one over the weekend because yeah. Sam's been working. But people are looking at the models and you're getting more. It's almost, you're getting a more custom. House. You're getting a custom home. It's yeah. just that we're it's just. It's my custom. It's your I've custom. Come up with. That's right. So, but, but I've. I put together things mm -hmm. that I think people would really want. Yeah, so know? don't think that you're missing out on these models. These are not just box looking yeah. models. They're not just, you're getting the spray foam. You're getting all these details on the outside. You're getting specific stuff that you would have gotten with your custom home, if not more. Yeah. More than likely more. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, you know, our fan base and a lot of our customers in the past, I think, liked us because we were building homes mm -hmm. that were economical right they were building homes for people that were homeless mm -hmm. that barely had enough money to even get in a tiny right. home because mm -hmm. everybody thinks right tiny homes are way overpriced yeah across the country mm -hmm. i don't know i think it's whatever the market can bear whatever I, that I builder agree. wants to do yeah i don't care if it's a million dollars mm -hmm. i'm gonna do what i want to do right but we've still held to that mindset mm -hmm. Who's building a twenty thousand dollar house? I don't know of anybody. I could have charged twenty five for it, and I mm -hmm. didn't. It's still at twenty. Yeah. Who's and building a house for thirty eight? Exactly. Forty eight, fifty eight. Who's mm -hmm. building homes for that that have completely LP siding, and completely do, painted yeah. on the inside? And do the comparable though. Don't just say, "Oh, well, yeah. this one's doing it." Well, what what's in it? Exactly what's in it. Yeah. So. I love competition, everybody. Mm -hmm. I want to I want to know. I don't want to know what anybody's doing. If I do, that'd be great. You can tell me. I'd love to. it. But I want competition. I want to say, okay, let's see what you can do. Right. I can build a box. I mm -hmm. can build a box with no character. I can build a modern looking just box with no overhangs, no Absolutely. soffits. No, yeah. You can walk inside and it's just, it's just V-grooving cabinets. Mm -hmm. That's simple. Yeah. But when you do a custom home, that I want a USB port three inches from the wall on the left side and the dormer below my below my you know mm -hmm. gable. Try that. Yeah, exactly. Try to do that. Try to put on here. I've got my grandma's amour that I want to put in between this door and that wall because right. it's thirty seven point two inches and it stands sixty four inches and I want to make sure I put my mini split above it. But I also got a doggy door to the left mm -hmm. side and I want my cat litter box on the right side. Yeah. Then I want to make sure and I, I want got to a step US. down and and then I oh yeah I want solar oh yeah I want to get tanks in the floor. <laughs> yeah, and I want yeah. it to be this far off the ground. Yeah, <laughs> and we've done that for seven years. All of it for seven Every years. Bit of it. And yeah. when and and mm -hmm. um, I want happy customers now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I want to build. I want happy builders. And the only way I'm going to do to that is have more structure and say this is the way we are going to do and build. Yeah. So I'm. You know I took a chance. Uh, I took a chance flipping the business 180 degrees. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I took a chance saying if it didn't work, yeah. I was willing to go out of business mm -hmm. because I will not go back to what we were doing. Yeah. And for people to not support us in that, mm -hmm. and to people that have been behind us forever, mm -hmm. you know, it's almost like how loyal are friends? What is it? you know what they say? What is a friend? What is a friend? You see a friend going down, going a certain way, do you, do you just drop them because you see them going a different way than you've ever seen them before? Mm -hmm. You support them and you back them up. No matter where they're going, you just always have that unconditional where you just support them. And that's what you have to do. Mm -hmm. So when you come into this, you find a lot of, you find out, what do they call it, man, the true colors? What's, what's the song? You find out who your friends are. Yeah. <laughs> that's it, ain't it? Yeah. Country song. And I've been, all my life, and I'm sure maybe you too, but uh, I have to do what I got to do, you know? And I've never been guided by peer pressure. I've never been, I've never been, I've never adjusted anything that I've ever worn, looked, done anything, but where I thought the masses of the crowds wanted me to go. 
and uh, it's just the way it is, you know. Um, I think a lot of people use YouTube as a platform to be different and mm -hmm. to to expose their individuality. I don't do that here. That's not the, this is not the place. This YouTube channel is for us to build a company, a business, and to build relationships with you all that want tiny homes or you just enjoy watching what we're doing in this world, mm -hmm. you know, and how we're coming about. So, and what, this is our only advertising. Isn't that crazy? This is all we do. This is it. Yeah. So, you know, this is not, I know this video won't get 10,000 views like, like the beautiful home that we did on Friday or was it Friday? We launched Yeah, it, it was Friday. Mm -hmm. a, <laughs> <laughs> Yet again, I do apologize for the music. I'm sorry. I will not choose that music again. Oh, it's fine. It's it was, good. I just started laughing going down through there because I was like, they ain't going to like this music. They ain't going to like it, but it's I think okay. It's good. And yeah. you know, everybody, I don't watch these videos. I don't like watching myself. You know, I pick myself apart. I mean, I get bags into my eyes. I'm getting older. My skin's falling like a Sharpe. And I said, it's just, I just don't know. let me take the camera off of you. <laughs> I just don't. I don't look at it. I'm very critical of myself. I'm critical of a lot of things. But I put that aside, and I build, and I go, and I move, and I don't think about a lot of detailed things, you know. So this is for marketing. You know, I'm, I mean, if it, it, if it was, if Tom would do it, I'd rather have him stand in front of this camera. He just young and handsome and god we probably get ten thousand views every time we come on you know but tom doesn't want to be on youtube and it's hard to get somebody to come on here because you're vulnerable you show everything that who you are and what you are and you show your mistakes and i mean think about it. we come on here almost an hour every day yeah how can you not make a mistake how can you not say something that's stupid well you know? we put we we do stuff crazy all the time but people don't do that they put a nice good video and there's nothing wrong with those videos and stuff this is just how we do it well it's like it's man okay. look the filing cabinet look it's getting look well, don't turn my it god anymore. why can't you get a new uh, file cabinet oh, stop. and they're like why is everything on paper how come it's well, not on digital we well just, it is both it's, yeah and okay well what happens if the place burns down you're gonna lose it. i mean you expose yourself i know to so much criticism like why do you have all this up here why do you got per, you know all these things you've labeled and this is what Amanda does. Everybody said, what, what's Amanda? Somebody said, what's Amanda's take on that company? People always ask that. They always say, what, what does she do there? You, you, know know what, what? you know what, somebody out here, and I will not tell her name, but she said, oh, I didn't know that, that you did anything here. I thought, <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. okay. Don't matter. You I don't matter. It Whatever. I did, All I these like, things. Mm. Look, new employment packets, better business bureau. Uh, vehicle information. We got trucks and cars I hung and up stuff all the pictures that we have. Of to, my family. You got my family. <laughs> I got my family in there. Yeah, twenty first mortgage, general liability, basic information, donations, incredible properties, cabinets, insurance. We got workman's comp, warranties, ANSI, partnerships, all this stuff that Amanda's keeping track, putting it on here. Emails coming in that the girls can't answer. The 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 videos, the editing, you know. And, and there's look at all this. Look, what is all this over here, Amanda? That's all Kelly said. That's properties. Properties mm -hmm. of people that's, that's lived here. All, that's all the leases. All six of those no, are leases. And get on another subject <laughs> of these communities out here. I know. When I, when I initiated this, somebody's saying, oh, if, if, are we getting greedy because we're asking 20000 across the street? Somebody had said that. You know what? I asked $6,000 to put infrastructure, and it costs probably $8,000 per lot. I never come back and ask for a dime. When we have people out here, we rent the earth. Mm -hmm. Right? We and I told everybody we're not gonna weed eat, we're not gonna mow. Have I done it? Yep, I've mowed and I've weed eat. Mm -hmm. Right? But that's not what it's two hundred dollars a month. And we mm -hmm. wanted everybody do you wanna be organic and you guys wanna help each other and you wanna be a part of keeping costs low? Everybody needs to help. Everybody needs to keep their lots pretty. They need to keep their lots nice mm -hmm. and help us out as a company because we're not asking for any more money. Yeah. I'm not raising any rent. I know we had a three years that's the way it's going to be i don't see why would it change it mm -hmm. if everything's going good right yeah so we've stayed there but 200 dollars a month is all you have to pay mm -hmm. go anywhere right over here in north carolina an hour away from here there's 600 dollars a month what mm -hmm. do they got that we ain't yeah exactly and they're out in the middle of a field yeah you know so i like what we've done i do i too. like where we're going I'm and, proud and there's of There's not it. one thing that we're ashamed of what we've no. done and what we're asking and where we're going and how we're doing anything. That's right. Not exactly. one thing, you know. Nope. So, and I'm excited. Randy's excited. I mean, it's hard for us to get wound up and excited about anything, but um, it's 
the direction that it's going we see the houses are getting done we see the build list is getting smaller uh, the incredible boxes we've sold I don't know if we're at a hundred but we're almost at a hundred um, the new building is almost done. You're getting ready to move over there. Yes, ma'am. The first Incredible Box, we're going to do a different video for this afternoon, and you're going to see, we'll tell you how long it took to do. Your Incredible Box was the very first one that was done, of yeah. course, but number two, how long did it how take? How many hours it and took? And we're going to, how many yeah. hours it took? And it, and, and it really wasn't on a Sunday line or anything. No. You know, but we'll no. count the hours of what mm -hmm. it took. And then when we get in the new building outside right here, oh, it's come. we're hoping... We'll just see. I'm not predicting we'll anything. We'll see. But I'm one month behind schedule. Mm -hmm. And I love how that one guy criticized me of saying, well, if it's going to be so uh, so fast, why are you only going to get 25 homes done and promise in 90 days? Yeah. It's because I promised 25 homes within February 21st, mm -hmm. and it's already March 21st, mm -hmm. and we have not started but one other tiny home. But one. So now I got 60 days to produce 25 homes because I'm going to stand to my word. Yeah. That's why I said 90 days. Yeah. Because there are some things that just happened that you don't oh know Oh my about. God, the things Anything. that's happened. You I've lived long enough in this world to know that every day of my life, nothing ever, ever goes the way it's supposed no, to go. And I'm doesn't. glad it doesn't because, you know, I love a challenge. I love to be able to be knowing. I don't want to know what everything's going to happen every day. I don't want to know. I want to be able to like be on guard and change my rhythm as I go, and that makes you feel alive. And that's what we've had to do here. So when we get in that box, I'm trying to get into that mm -hmm. big building next week. That's great. And start building the incredible homes. Ooh, the incredible so, boxes. Incredible boxes. Mm -hmm. So we'll have we're putting in windows today in the Ooh, building, putting exciting. the flashing around the bottom. Now we got light in there. We can go okay. and in the ceiling and the insulating. That'll just come as we go. Great. Yeah. Okay. So, anything else? No, we'll do another video. We'll we'll do one uh, later, but this um, okay. that's all for now. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go. Everybody okay. have a great day. Um, we're gonna get back to work in here. Yeah. And hope this information was helpful to all types of people. Just to that clarify. Are, yeah. 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 And um, so hopefully it answered some questions, some people of why and when and and um just what's going on and just a, it's real quick feedback about sam what he was talking about people um the emails that are coming in and he they say hey i'm they're hitting the button on the website says ready to buy yeah he contacts them okay. gets a contract yeah. together and sending it out and he said the the response has been amazing well, let me just say incredible <laughs> for the yeah. model homes. So it's simple. Yes, it's so simple. They, ready to buy. Ready to buy. He gets them an estimate. Yeah. He includes, you know, the sales tax mm -hmm. and stuff on it. Yeah. He gets the color. And then when they get the color combo, That's it's it. done. It is done. And, and they, they know, put they put that when you say ready to buy on the form that you fill out, you put your color package. Yeah. You've already picked what you're going to get. So it's really simple. It's not a hard process. And what's exciting, we had already mentioned before that we've sold every one of the one of every one yeah. of the models except yeah. for except one. one those will be coming soon so you're going to get to see live real pictures of see. real models really soon yeah and and then i'll close with this mm -hmm. there's people are going to say well how are you going to get them homes done any quicker than what you did mm -hmm. and that's why everything that we're doing yes. is going to make that happen mm -hmm. the biggest thing is is we're investing in another location with our amish partnerships right. And they're coming on that we're thinking within the, probably the next three months, we'll have at least 10 homes being done a month up mm -hmm. there. Yeah. So if that leaves us about five or six months left in the year yep. when they finish up our customs mm -hmm. that we have, we can build probably 60 yep. model homes yep. by the end of the year, not yep. including what we can build here ourselves mm -hmm. while we're doing incredible box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said anywhere between 50 to 70 homes we can still sell mm -hmm. and get them done by the end of the year yeah so if you're thinking about anything if you want any type of model home that we have and you mm -hmm. want it by the end of the year order now mm -hmm. and we can get it to you well the thing is too is that what's going to make it quicker is that you're ordering all the windows you're ordering all of the lp siding we have got it narrowed down yeah. to where we're going to have that stuff in stock it is readily available so having the materials not having to wait on something 
that's a big deal. Yeah. Not waiting on mini splits. Well, like not waiting on you anything. Did. You picked out them mm -hmm. colors. Now we can. They're get, setting those aside for us. Yeah. So we can stockpile mm -hmm. them, and get them set up, and go. Oh, listen, them. compost toilets and things like that all have been behind. Like if you're a regular person, you can't hardly get that stuff. Right. So it's it's everything's been behind, and now that we're ordering everything up and it's readily available, if all the it's materials are day. there, yep, it's a, it's new, a day. new day. You just cool. assemble it, put it together. Okay. Thanks, Amanda. Thanks, Randy. Bye. Bye. <laughs>